हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू द न्यू वीडियो सो वी हैड वन कॉमेंट फ्रॉम वन ऑफ अ व्यूअर एंड आई थॉट ऑफ मेकिंग अ वीडियो ऑन दैट सेपरेटली बिकॉज इट वॉज अ नाइस क्वेश्चन दैट ही हैज़ आस्ड सो वील डिस्कस ऑल दोज क्वेश्चन टूडे एंड आई ऑल्सो पुट द कॉमेंट इन दिस वीडियो सो दैट यू कैन चेक द क्वेश्चन दैट द व्यूअर हैज आस्ड so yeah let's go so i'll read the question for you all how jenkins pipeline handle multi environment deployment then second part is dev test prod environment setup is on different server and node agent if yes how we reference that in our pipeline and then third part was also please explain how multi branch setup is in the organization so basically first part that is how we will handle uh, multi environment deployment so basically in our pipeline we will mention the environment block in environment block we will give the environments like dev environment url prod environment url uh pre prod environment url and then and then when we will when we will write the uh, st- script in our stage block inside a stage block we will use when when branch is develop then deploy or you can uh, write the script where we have to deploy in our uh dev environment correct when branch is main then we have to deploy it in uh, the uh, production environment so we can put the environments in the environment block then we will put when condition to check what is our branch so basically what we can do now you will uh, get confused that uh, how see we have shared library concept also where we keep a uh, uh, script which is common uh, in our git repository and that we will use that function we can use and the only the inputs we have to give so what we can do the deployment code we can keep in git repository and we can call that function in our pipeline script just change the inputs of the environments if this is uh, if this environment is uh, production then to, uh, execute this so that will be a groovy script so basically uh, that's how we will deal with the multi environment setup and also guys i will uh, give you the uh, reference pipeline script in the uh, description section so that you can refer from there then how will you handle the uh, environment credential for different environments similar uh, that we have a credential plugin that we have from there we can uh, keep the you know we can keep our credentials and we can reference it with using with underscore credential block so like this we can do it and uh, for multi uh, environment uh, like uh, we can do parallel we can execute parallel pipeline so that the deployment is fast also uh, we can add approval stage in uh, in the for deploying it in production so there we have to take a input uh, that whether we are ready to deploy in production or not after that input only we will deploy so these are the ways to handle the multi environment pipeline setup everything i'll give you in the description section so you can refer from there second part of the question was that for every uh, environment or dev test production there is different nodes and servers on which our jenkins pipeline run so it is yes why because we do it for security purpose in isolation and also there will be different configuration on the serve on the nodes or the agents where the jenkins pipeline will run so that's why keeping different nodes and agents for different environment uh, is uh, good 
and it should be done so how we will handle this situation in our pipeline so that we will discuss so basically that can be done by mentioning the agent for in the stages block and also the other way is mentioning the nodes node block uh, it will be also done inside the stages block so how it will be done i'll explain you when we write a script we start with giving pipeline then agent any there we have to mention agent none and then in our stages block we have to mention the agent and whatever our agent will be whatever the label we have given to our agent and we have to run that particular code in particular agent that we have to give so and similarly uh, and similarly when we will use node we have to give in agent none and inside the stages block we have to give node then in brackets we have to give the node name so this is how we will handle our uh, uh, when we have to run our specific code on specific agent or node and how we will create master safe configuration we have to go manage jenkins there manage node and cloud we have to add the we have to mention the label and nodes over there okay this is how we will create our uh, agents and th this how we will create the master slave configuration next uh, and the third and the last part that the uh, viewer has asked that how is multi branch pipeline set up is there in any organization so multi branch setup is basically when we have multiple branches like main develop release feature and we want separate pipelines for uh, like pipeline triggers for each of the branch so that's what and it is fine also because parallelism will be there and also easy to debug so for multi branch either we can keep the jenkin files pipeline script in each inside the e, inside each branches like inside our grid repository we will keep inside the branches uh, we will we can keep our code and also jenkins discover itself the branches which uh, inside the repository so we don't have to you know uh, give it manually just we have to give the repository name and the credentials it will itself discover the branches which are there in the repository and also uh, next thing is like if we can also uh, configure like if there will be an appeal pull request if any request is open if it's updated then itself jenkins will create a job for it so this is how uh, it works like that that's why my these are the key concepts in multi branch pipeline so basically for setting up the multi branch pipeline we have to go to jenkins dashboard before that we need to install the Gen multi branch plugin so we can install it uh, in the uh, you know global tool configuration we can install this then we have to go to dashboard there we will uh, create new item there we will uh, select the uh, you know uh, multi branch pipeline setup give our github repository url whatever uh, whatever repository is uh, like have to give the branch source like whatever what it's github or it's bitbucket whatever we have to give the branch source then the url and repository then the url credential then we'll scan the multi branch pipeline it will discover the branches and itself it will create the brand like uh, the pipeline jobs so strategy will be like we have to do it manually like trigger the jobs or we have to uh, set up the pull request whenever the uh, you know there is any pull or push trigger then the pipeline should get triggered 
and then uh, we have we also have to limit the brand discovery because it is like ki we don't want to uh, list all the branches which are there inside the git repository or so we can follow the naming convention that the particular uh, name uh, branches should be uh, their job should only be created they should only be discovered so this is how we set up the multi branch pipeline script and then uh, accordingly uh, we will deploy them uh, to the specific environment and test it from there so guys uh, that's all for today's video i will give all the scripting everything the format uh, in the description section so that you can refer it from there and i hope it's helpful so yeah bye